Welcome back to Elden Ring. We're at Agil Lake South. And we're about to try to take on this huge beast, which is inside of that average looking Joe zombie up there. Should I take them out? No. Oh, um, oh no, I thought they saw me. Yeah, let's try to mop up these ads. Otherwise, they're going to be a problem. I guess I could just hide in a bush. Magic missiles come out of the bush. <laughs> I think I want to be right in front of them to make sure these actually hit. Oh, the horse lived! Yes! Oh, good boy! You're not gonna try to attack me, right? Be free! Yeah. Ooh. Check out that helmet. So, compared to the Godric stuff... Um, oh, it's very similar. Like, basically the same stats. You know, I haven't looked at the descriptions for the Godric stuff. Helm worn by soldiers loyal to Godric the Grafted. Made from durable iron, layered with a chainmail coif beneath. Helm worn by Caden Sellswords. These hulking fearless mercenaries, said to hail from the mountaintops of the wintry north, are adept at fighting on horseback. Caden is the name of their home settlement. Hmm. if I want to backstab them. I, I guess. Alright, here we go. I wasn't even a backstab. Ooh. Ow. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. No, that is going to be one that I run the F away from on horseback and shoot it with magic. For sure. Let's actually reallocate my flasks. I think I'm going to want even more FP. I don't know how much damage the thing takes, but I assume a lot. Oh yeah, that takes a lot. Oh fuck. Oh no, it knocked me right off. Oh, oh boy. Oh no, no. This thing is so fast. <laughs> what? It's roar killed me. It screamed so loud I fucking died. What am I supposed to do against you? I now understand the utility of the throwing the the firebombs behind you. It's probably for when you're especially when you're running away on horseback and it's chasing you. That's what it's for. 
I can't craft any though. I already crafted like the max I could of the normal ones. Oh, it would take so much magic to kill that. Where would I even begin? I'm trying to think of just how to approach this. New tactic. If I can't get away from it and do it ranged, then I need to do it as close as possible. I'm that's usually that's my two modes in Dark Souls. Either try to be really far away or try to be really, really close. In my experience, that's usually the best tactic. Like think of jumping or um, like rolling between the legs of a giant, for example. Often works really, really well. That thing isn't quite that big, but still. So I'm going to change my tactic here. If I'm going to be that close, I'm not going to be able to use magic at all. So let's just go full heal. Forget the magic. This thing is definitely more physical. So let's put on as much heavy stuff as I can before I go above medium load. Still medium. Still medium. So my physical defense will be much better. Just see if I can get its attention. It's not aggroed. Well, we can look at the beautiful beast. I love the color on its underbelly. What a big boy. Hmm. That did it. Ooh, I just got another idea. Oh, also, how is fire against it? Not that good. Jesus. The other idea I had is that we've seen different mobs react with each other and like fight each other. Maybe I can like lure it onto the bridge. And I don't know, maybe it'll get stuck in the spikes and hurt itself or they'll start fighting each other or something. Anyway, I'm going to try that again. There's no point in holding this damn shield up, but sure, why not? No, of course there isn't. What's the point? I've lived for more than two seconds. I'm dead. Oh, it's like a nice warm bear hug. I'm alive. This thing's taking like no fucking damage. There's 
No way. So am I meant to come back to that later or? I don't know how I'm supposed to fight that. It went better on foot than it did on a horse because you can't roll when you're on a horse. Okay, let's try this. I'm back to my old equipment and flask charges. Follow me. See if they'll fight each other or something? Oh! How far will you follow me? Will you follow me into the spikes on the bridge? Hmm. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh. Oh, I didn't think it would follow me this far. It seems like it wasn't going to, but it will. Oh, it'll follow me quite far. Do I have enough FP for this? I have two more. Yeah, I think I have enough FP for this. Question is, do I have enough health? Ah ha ha! It's following me closer and closer. Please stop. It just seems to be wi more willing to go out of its range when um, I attack it. Although now it's not doing anything. Please stop, please stop. Oh my god! God, I feel like I just cheesed it so hard. Larval... Tear? What? What is that? It's a key item. Material needed by Renala to grant rebirth. Oh, like a reroll of your class? Core of a creature of mimicry known as a silver tear. As much a substance as it is a living organism. Required by the amber egg cradled by Renala, queen of the full moon, to birth people anew. Being born anew allows the reallocation of attributes boosted by leveling up. Hmm. I'm scared by the fact that I had to cheese that so hard because there will come a time when I can't cheese an enemy. What do I do then? I want to buy a couple things. I just bought this chain armor. Um, as far as I can tell, I could be wrong. I don't think there's any way to compare the item you're buying to what you currently have equipped. I might be wrong, but I don't think you can. Which would make sense, because that's how the previous Dark Souls games have been. Uh, also going to buy that shield. The shield I know is better. The other one, the armor, I'm not sure. I'm going to compare it. But yeah, now I can compare it. So it's better in every way except weight. Significantly better guarded damage negation. Better guard boost. Guard boost... Um, Guard boost means basically how much stamina you lose when you're holding the shield up. So the higher the number, the less stamina you'll lose. It's kind of like more sturdy. So yeah, let's use that instead. And let's see how this compares. Better physical, not as good magic as you'd expect. Better robustness, 
and poise, worse, much worse focus and vitality. What does that do, though? Like, what does having 90 focus resistance mean? What does that mean? Well, I mean, I guess I could actually just look at what it means. <laughs> let's, let's see. So, immunity. The resistance your armor offers to various poisons and rot. That makes sense. Robust. Um, resistance to blood loss and frostbite. Okay, makes sense. Focus. The resistance your armor offers to sleep and bouts of madness. Vitality. The resistance your armor offers to death. Higher values make it more difficult to be afflicted with instant death. So that's another type of... Um, I mean, it's not a damage negation, it's resistance. So that's like, you know, maybe like the curse from Dark Souls 3, perhaps? Where you instantly die if it reaches max? And poise, the degree to which you can resist collapsing under enemy attacks. Basically how hard it is for the enemy to stun you. Hmm, okay, well... Eh, once again, it's like, kind of give and take. It doesn't really seem clearly better or worse. I'm just gonna stick with what I got. But we do have a new shield. Looks a lot bigger, looks a lot fancier. It's very pretty. Nice leather work. So I know that there's a key item I need to change the ability, the weapon ability on my armament inside of the gatefront ruins. So let's go check it out. Ahead, ahead. That's just poetry. I'm uploading that. Ooh, this one's got a horn on them. Which probably means they call enemies, so I want to take them out. Using stealth in a Dark Souls game. This feels weird. But I love it. Feels weird but great. Oh, a map of Limgrave West. Praise the Elden Ring. So does that reveal... A new map has been found. Yes, does that... Oh, it like, um... It doesn't list any locations on the map exactly, but it does just kind of like color it in. Hmm. That looks like an important icon there. It's not one that I've discovered, it's just on the map. Interesting. Oh, I got their coat. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh, huh? I was trying to read the message. Flail. Armament. I need a little bit more strength and a lot more decks for that. Yeah, five more decks, two more, two more strength. Hmm. Scales the same. D on both decks and strength. Weapon consisting of a bludgeoning head attached to a handle by a chain. The iron ball is spiked and induces blood loss. Ah, okay. Blows from this weapon cannot be parried. The charge attack whirls the iron ball around for increased force before striking. Interesting. I do like the thought of using that. That sounds cool. It's more interesting than just a normal sword, you know? I saw a wolf over here. That's probably going to spot me real fast. Here we go. That arc is ridiculously powerful against groups. That is so absurdly powerful. Death, oh death. Ooh, there's a basement. Oh, this one's uncommonly strong. Must be at least one enemy left because I haven't gotten my flasks back. There. 
flasks back. Let's go check out that basement. Must be where the key item is. No enemy ahead. Hmm. Yeah, got the Ashvor and also the Whetstone Knife. That's what I need to equip them. Not actually sure how I use it. Looks like there's another Site of Grace. Just like further back from the runes, which is awfully close to the other one. But yeah, let's see if we can use the whetstone knife here, maybe? Or maybe we use it at the, um, like, where you upgrade your weapon, perhaps? Oh no, we can just do it here. With the Ashes of War menu, you can use Ashes of War to grant skills and affinities to your armaments at Sites of Grace. An armament can only have one skill. Hmm. Right, I can't use the sword's armament, though, if I have a shield. So, like, I guess... Yeah, I, I can't do anything else with the shield. I don't think I'd want it to have anything other than parry. But, since I don't use what's already on there, I guess I might as well make it storm... Stomp? Wait a second, that makes the attack power worse? Why, why does that affect the attack power? Hmm. Okay, I'm not really sure I want to do that. Yeah, these all affect the physical attack power. It can actually affect the attribute scaling as well. Like, this makes the uh, strength go from D to B. Huh. Those have much larger effects on the weapons than I thought they would. How many souls do we have? Oh, I think we might have enough for a level up. Yeah. Hmm. Let's go for dex. I'm thinking now that I'm not so much in one-shot territory because I've leveled up some, let's try taking on this one again. Be better if I'm not on a horse, maybe.
Ah, yes! I didn't even take a single hit! That was a perfect run! God, I love dodging! Golden Halberd. Is this the return of Halby? From my playthrough of Dark Souls 2, if you never watched it? I used a Halberd for like, I don't know, half the game or something? Maybe more? Hmm. No, this is not the return of Halby. This one requires 30 strength. Yeah, that's that's not happening. Granted, if you two-hand it, you do get that, like, um... I think your strength becomes your strength plus 50% of your strength. So, like, one and a half times your strength. But still, even with that, my strength is 8. So that would be 14. Or 14? What? That'd be 12. Nowhere near 30. It also requires a bit of faith. Weighty halberd, forged of gold, wielded by the Order of Tree Sentinels, heavily equipped knights, deals holy damage. Ah. A masterfully crafted weapon that lives up to its heft, but is difficult for one of mere human strength to wield. Well, heck, let's just see what this thing looks like. Ooh, it big. I mean, not as big, but still. God, is it pretty, though. I love that, the point. The, the tip on it. How it, like, weaves back and forth. Um, I think this would be the special ability if I was... I don't know, if I had enough faith to use it or something. Man, what a cool weapon. Wish I could wield it. Oh, we can talk to Melina. This tiny golden aura is the grace of the Erd Tree. This light once shone in the eyes of your tarnished brethren. But now, it is all that guides you. Or so I hear. You can see them, can't you? The rays of grace that guide you through your burden. Upon the cliff in Castle Stormvale is a shard bearer, a demigod, who inherited a fragment of the shattered Elden Ring. If the rays of grace signal the castle, then the Elden Ring beckons you. As an ally by pack, I pray that you are fit to face the challenge presented by the ring. Upon the cliff, a demi if the ring and the elder as an ally pray that to face the Oh, can I learn a new spell here? Because I know I have the like I have a sorcery that I need to give to someone. But no, I don't think I can do it through here. Should be able to let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. Share them with me. Your thoughts. Your ambitions. The principles you would follow. I want to be able to use that flail. So let's get more decks. I think I need 18 decks. I'm at Agil Lake North now, and on the map, right here looks sort of like a cave. Yeah, let's go there. See if that is a cave. Oh, it is! Um, how do I get down there without dying? Because this is going to kill me. I don't want to summon the dragon. Hmm. 
At least we can find out what these things are. Oh, it's sucking in. Why is it sucking? And it's spewing. Poison. Okay. I love the texture on them. The texture of their skin. And then they just roll around. <laughs> What are you... What are you doing? It's like wriggling back and forth. I haven't been looking at how many souls they're giving me. Is it significant? 13? No, that is insignificant. Do I have to manually remove my little beam? Or... Oh, it's gone now. What is... What is that? That, like, blue mist... Try piercing. Or tears. Or tears? Ahead? Limgrave tunnels. Hmm. them whacking the walls, I guess, in the distance. Mining? Hmm. Yeah, they're mining. That's a hell of an axe. Whoa, that only did 40 damage. Oh, they have incredible, they have very low health, but incredible defense. I see, that's why it says try piercing. that again without getting hurt. And let's see how good magic is against him. Mm, well, I'll get my free backstab in. Oh, much better. Smithing stone. That's what those are. One hit and they're down? Oh, they have like no resistance to um, magic at all. It's just physical stuff, I think. But like, if I wanted to switch to piercing, could I? Although this is standard slash pierce. I'm not sure how to actually get the pierce out of it. But, um, I mean, I can't use any of this, can I? No, it's all unusable. And this is strike if I wanted to burn them. I don't know, maybe they're susceptible to fire? I guess I'll try. Oh, they ha they actually are susceptible to fire. A lot more than just like a normal sword attack. I mean, I guess it is an element, right? Any sort of elemental thing is not raw. Not just like, well, not physical. But yeah, I might as well just stick with magic.
First off, ahead. Readies. Trail ahead. No hidden path ahead. By the way, why is it always liar? I wonder how long till we get the first hidden path. Or maybe there are no hidden paths in Elden Ring. Unlikely, but possible. Try a lever. Thanks. Item ahead. Really? Hmm. Major doubt. Um, in dungeons, can you call torrents? No. There actually might be an item down there. Eh, let's just go down the normal way. Behold, not here. <laughs> no. Oh no. Um. Okay, right. You can fall down pretty far and it's fine. Here. Eh. It's not here. Secret ahead. Wait, so is there actually an item or not? I guess not. Let's check underneath. No, that's death. Aha! Could this be a cave? Oh, this is one of the respawn points. Wait. Then... Is this where you're supposed to go? Is this a boss? Be wary of rushing in. Didn't expect patrolling. Hmm. I wanted to read that message. How did you get up there without breaking it? Glintstone scrap. Break gem and use FP to produce a magic bulk. Interesting. I want to put that like here. Let me just, I don't know, use it once. Hmm. Intriguing. Ah! They got bombs. Try jumping. Yeah. I mean, I could. Yeah, why not? Here.
a golden rune. It's not very good. Somber smithing stone. Hmm? Reinforce special armaments to plus one. Oh, is this basically glittering stone? Crystal, oh crystal. Still no standard, therefore try striking. Okay, standard is bad. I'm scared. A little bit scared by this piece of wood stuck in me. Okay, we're good. Try sorcery. Well, I got that. Dashing. Magic required ahead. Got that. Okay. Okay. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. First try. Here we go. Medallion. Oh, they weren't kidding. Magic and sorcery is really good against that. Roar Medallion. What is that? It's under talismans. Enhances roars and breath attacks. Bronze Medallion depicting a roaring giant. In ancient times, the giants were mortal enemies of the Erd Tree. Their bellowing roars desolated nature, triggered avalanches, and whipped up storms of flame. Mortal enemies of the Earth Tree. Ah, uh, horse. Hmm? You can't call your horse here, can you? No? What horse? Praise the tarnished. Visions of victory. Secret ahead, fuck you. Okay, we're still missing something down here, though. I think there's a secret pathway on the first lift. Oh, there's another pathway there, too. It has a lot of secrets in here. Four golden runes, nice. But this kind of almost looks like it could be a secret. Yeah, there's a higher one, too. This one. Dead end ahead. Yeah, the second lift, there's the way that we jumped to. Which we did go to, that was where the boss was, but I didn't go this way. Dog ahead. Pupper. A large glintstone scrap. Creates many magic bolts.
guess I'll toss that in here as well. Oh, that's it. Back to the Church of Ella. Feels like my safe place for now. Yeah, we have enough to level up. Um, we got a couple new items as well. Like, I found an explosive stone when I was going back through there. Explodes when thrown, inflicting fire damage. Oh, so yeah, it's just like a... Like a fire pot, pretty much. Miners employ those these stones as tools for rock blasting, but have long forgotten how to craft them. Aww. I feel like there was something else as well. Oh yeah, pickaxe. Yeah, let's actually just go to equipment. I found a pickaxe. Those require 22 strength. Way too much for me. Designed to crack thick bedrock. Tool of sturdy miners. Not originally designed as a weapon, but very adept at piercing armor. Then there's a quote. Little wretches, do you think your armor harder than stone? <laughs> Who said that? But, um... Yeah, it sounds like it's a piercing tool. Yeah, just pure pierce. I want to see what this thing looks like. Cool. Heavy. That's the special. I think it, like, anchors you and makes you, I don't know, sturdy or something. Cool. We can strengthen our sword. And I'm pretty sure we can level up as well. Two levels. Okay, let's keep going for decks. I want to be able to use that flail. I think with one more dex, I could use the flail if I two-hand it. Well, I think that's a good place to end the episode. Hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I think I might go check out these, this swampy area in the center where the dragon is supposed to be. Also, just to random aside, I'm really curious why on the map, in the middle of the water, there's a barrel just hanging out there. That implies to me that there's some way for me to get out there? Probably. Really curious about that. <laughs>